In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a set of green rolling hills using Adobe Illustrator. There's actually a bit of a trick to creating these. We're going to cheat. What we're going to do is trace over an existing image to get ours looking just like this. Okay, now it's a very basic tutorial, this one, but further down the track, you're going to be tracing over the top of more complex images to create really cool artworks. Okay, but this is just the beginning for now while we get our skills um, all built up. So what I'm going to get you to do is uh, make a new file in Illustrator. Like always, we're going to choose the web section at the top and go to the minimum 1024 by 768. Click on Create, and we're going to put in a blue background. Now the background just needs to be any old blue for now, because we're going to change it later on. Make sure you've got that stroke turned off. Now I don't like this blue, it's a bit of an ugly one, but we'll put it in anyway. And we're going to lock it into position for now. We'll come back to it a bit later on. If you want, you can rename that rectangle layer to background. It's always good practice to do just that. Okay, now to get these rolling hills drawn, what I'm going to do is jump onto Google. And I've actually searched for, in Google Images, green rolling hills vector. And that will bring up a whole heap of green rolling hills in vector format. And basically, I just get to pick one that I like the looks of. So this one here. Copy it by right-clicking on it and selecting Copy Image. And then going back to Illustrator and pasting it in. Okay, now instead of just copying that image, let's trace it. Make our own variation of it. All right. So I like these two rolling hills here. And to trace these images, we use the pen tool. Okay, now the pen tool can be a little bit tricky to use, especially when you're starting out. But with a bit of practice, you'll start to get the hang of it. You'll be able to trace some pretty cool drawings um, once you've had a bit of practice. So the pen tool leaves the third tool down in your toolbox. Looks like a little calligraphy pen. And what I want you to do is, I guess we can choose our fill color now. Choose a nice green that you want for your rolling hill. I remember with the hills, the darker color needs to be the front hill and the lighter color needs to be in the background. So when you're drawing um, vector images like this, anything close to you or I guess close to the invisible camera needs to be darker. Okay, and then in the background there, things need to be lighter. All right, so let's start a drawing. Make sure your stroke's off as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by clicking in this top left-hand edge or corner of the hill. When you click once and move your mouse, you'll see that the pen tool will follow your mouse cursor, waiting for you to click on the next point in the image. So if we're tracing this um, front hill, what we will do is do this curve at the top first of all. So I'm going to bring it across to, say, about here. And I'm going to click and drag this time. I'm going to click and drag down, and that's going to bend my line. And I'm just going to move it around until it matches the curve of that hill. So somewhere around there. Now, what you've got is this um, big long blue line appearing. And if you move your mouse around, you'll see that the pen tool is still following you. Okay, now, I guess we could probably go straight over to the edge here. Now, I'm going to just tweak this a little bit. I'm not going to match it up exactly. I'm not going to go right into the corner. I'm going to go up a little bit from the corner. Click and just drag out to the right. And that's going to give me a fairly decent curve along there. I know it looks a bit funny now, but trust me, in a moment it will start to look good. Now this is where it gets a bit tricky. We now need to get this little handle from this blue line and bring it so it's facing down towards where we want to draw our next line. I actually want to draw this really little line just going down here. So what I need to do is hold Alt on my keyboard and you'll see my mouse cursor change, and I can grab that handle now and drag it so it faces down towards that bottom corner where I want to head for my next point. Okay, so what I can do now is simply go straight down, click in the corner. Then I'm going to go straight across to the other side of the image. Might have to zoom out here. And I'm going to click in that corner and then back up to the top to finish off. Okay, now we've got our first green rolling hill drawn. If I go to my Layers panel, and where it says Image, I'm going to hit the little um, visibility icon here, the little eye, and hide that background image. And you can see what our first green rolling hill looks like. Okay, if there's anything you want to change, you can grab your Direct Selection tool, the white tool, and click on it. And you've got all those little anchor points and handles that you can play around with. So if you want more of a curve or less of a curve on your hill, by all means, play around with them. But I don't want to, I'm happy with how it is for now. 
I'm just going to toggle the visibility of that image back on because what I want to do now is draw this second um, hill. Now I'm going to grab the pen tool for that again and change my fill color to a lighter green. So I might go over to this green now. And I'm going to start in this corner here. I'm going to go straight across to here. And click and drag down. And if I go to the down and left, I can start to get a similar shape to that hill. Okay, so that's the top of it done. Now I'm going to need to hold Alt again, and I'm going to need to grab this handle and face it down. Because I'm just going to come straight down the page at the bottom. I'm going to go straight across to the right and then straight back to where I began. Now I know that looks a bit funny, but what I'm going to do is adjust my layers so this looks good. At the moment, this path is on top of everything. I actually want it behind everything. So if I bring it down below that hill we've already drawn, that looks heaps better. I can actually delete this original image now because we don't need it anymore. So I'm going to just trash that. And there's my two green rolling hills. Now I'm going to zoom back a bit here and make this look a bit better. First of all, I'm going to select those two hills and press Ctrl G to group them. And in my layers panel, I'll give them a name saying hills. And I'm going to put them at the bottom of my artboard. And I'm going to stretch them out. I don't want to go up too much, uh, just a little bit, I guess. I'll hold shift when I do this. Stretch it out like so. So now I've got the two green rolling hills there at the bottom of my page. Now I said earlier on that this background looks terrible, and it does. So I want to fix that, and I want to use something called a gradient to make a more realistic looking sky. So back to my background now, I might even lock the hills into place and unlock the background in my layers panel here. Now this background, we're going to click on it and change the fill color to a gradient. So these little icons here are gradients where one color fades into another color. You can have black and white. You've got a sky one there, which looks like that. There's the black and white, by the way. Or well, you've got one that fades from a color into transparency. We might as well go with the sky one for now because that's pretty similar to what we're going to be using. As you can see, the sky is probably fading the wrong way. We kind of want the darker blue at the top fading down to a lighter blue at the bottom. So we need to now grab our gradient tool, which is over here in our toolbox and click on it. And when we click on the gradient tool, this bar appears across our gradient. What it means, let me explain it to you. It's got these little circles. It's got four of them along this line. They are the different colors that are blended together to make this gradient. What we can do is get rid of some of these circles. We don't need them all. I only want two colors in my gradient. I want a light blue down this end and a dark blue, or not very dark, but a darker blue up this end. Okay, so these two circles in the middle here, we can click on them and drag them up, or we can click on them and drag them down to remove them. So you can see now I've just got one circle color here and one circle over here for my two colors that blend in with one another. Now I think they're facing the wrong way, so what we can do is do a bit of adjusting here. We need to just grab the end of these gradients. I'm going to make this a bit smaller to start with. And then I'm going to click on the end down on the left hand side and start to move it. Okay, so that just brings it across to the center. Now I want to rotate it. If you hover over the right hand um, black tip, you'll see your mouse eventually turns into a rotation kind of tool and you can rotate it up like so. I wonder if you can get it perfectly straight. There we go. Now I wonder if it'll let me drag it down. There we go, it is letting me drag it down, which is good. You can also, if you zoom back a bit here, drag it up if you want to stretch it out a bit. Um, now I think this blue is a little bit dark for the top of the sky, so I'm going to click on this little circle here. You can either double click on it to change the color, or you can click on it once and just go over to your fill like we usually do, and just, I reckon choose a lighter blue. That one looks pretty good actually, I might even stick with that. So you can bring these circles down if you want to make it a bit darker down lower. You can drag it up. You can bring the lighter one up higher if you want. It's up to you what you do now with this gradient. Okay, so I'm just going to probably uh, bring it down a little bit. No, actually, not too much. There we go. I don't think that looks too bad. You can spend a while playing around with that, but I think you get the idea. Okay, so that's how you create two green rolling hills 
um, using Adobe Illustrator. Now, if you think back to some of the stuff we've already made, like the clouds, the sun, the trees, you could put them all into this image and make a pretty cool artwork. So I want you to try and do that now. Go and start drawing in some more trees, clouds, and the sun to try and jazz this landscape scene up a little bit. Okay, all the best, and I'll catch you in a future tutorial.